everyone, Melissa here from Mo Creations, coming to you today with another Shape Card Saturdays, and we are using the Silhouette Cameo today, so head on over to the Design Store, and let's pick up what you need. Okay, so we're going to put in 35839, that is the first um, design that we'll need, oh, oh, sorry, 839, all right, and you can either click search or enter. And it'll bring up your poinsettia that you'll need. And let's go over and get the next design. And that is um, 160891. And this is the other design you'll need. I'll have those numbers down below in, my, um, in the description box of this uh, tutorial. Okay, let's go to the, the design space. And then if you just, I'm sorry, let's go over to the library. And then if you just start to type in like N-O, your no else should pop up. So we'll go ahead and get that. And then we're going to go back to the library and we're going to go ahead and pick up that poinsettia. So if you start typing in poinsettia, it'll pop up and just click on that. Now, this is one thing I was, you know, a little disappointed in because um, I think the actual file cost $2.99 and she did not have the circle in this file. I mean, yeah, I probably could have messaged her or something, but anyways, it didn't come with a circle. So we're gonna go over here to create a circle. Um, and that's to the left, just go down to the third one, go over to the third one again and click on that. And as you see, I got a little uh, positive line. We're gonna hold down our mouse and just make a circle. Go back over to the arrow here and click so that your mouse can move freely and now we have a circle and I'm going to ungroup all of this and we're going to go ahead and add some color to our poinsettia I'm going to um, change the color so that you'll see how I'm laying this um, and before I change all of the colors we need one more large one so let's click to the right and click duplicate and now we have four actual um, poinsettia leaves. Let's make one green. We'll make the others red, but I'm gonna do them in three different color reds so that you can actually see how I'm laying them. All right, um, this will be the, the, um, the green leaves and let's move this to the front because it's behind and I'm just going to just move it ever so slightly so you can see all of the leaves there. And that's, let's move this one to the front because that one's behind it as well. And then let's move this one to the front because that one's behind as well. And we'll just lay that right there. Okay, and then we'll make this yellow. And I'm gonna right click already just to move it to the front. And then let's group all of this together. And that's just to move it more freely. Okay, now we are going to create our card. And I just put a box around everything and we're gonna pull this arrow just to create the size you'd like. I made mine a uh, to fit in a five by seven envelope. So you can do it um, to whatever size you like. Then after I um, got the the width of it, I stretched this here a little bit just to make it a little bigger. And that's good for me right there. And it's up to you how big you want it. So just create it to the size you'd like. Okay, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We're going to click on this and click duplicate because we'll use that a little later let's move that out of the way but let's go ahead and create our card base and so we're going to go over here to the replicate window and click on that right there and let's click on this and we're going to use the mirror image and we're going to mirror this above so mirror above and then we're just going to slide this down okay so before we actually weld that together we're going to come over here to the um, transform panel just to make sure that everything's even. So let's put a box around everything and we're gonna click either um, align to the right, which is over here, or align to the left, which is right here. And either one will do the same. 
And I don't think it moved. I think it's in the same spot that it needed to be. So let's go ahead and right click. Just make sure everything is um, around the, the complete um, two images. So let's right click and click weld. And that is it. So we're going to move this out of the way. Now we're going to take this one here. And we're going to go to the internal offset, which is, um, let me look for that one. This is the star shape here. Instead of the offset, which I usually add like um, a shape around the outside, we're going to do the internal one just to get the shape in the inside. And as you see, it's right here. And what I made this for is, let me, we no longer need this, so let's delete that out. This is going to be for the inside lining of the card here. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put the color on here because I, I did everything in white. So we're just going to make everything in white. Um, okay, and then I also have the Noel in white. So we'll do that in white just so that it kind of resembles the card at the end. And you know what? The only thing that's left to do is to resize our poinsettia. poinsettia. So let's go ahead and get this and lay that right on top of the O and resize it. So we're just going to size it down to what we actually want the shape to be at. And so that looks pretty good. And so that is all to the card. And all you have to do is put it together. So um, let me just show you how I had everything pretty much laid. Um, and you'll probably need two, um, two mats or, you know, or just layer it, you know, pull up, put it to put, I'm sorry, create one set of, that you need and then go to the other one and make the other set. So let's ungroup here and let's move this up here and, you know, just lay your colors. This can be all one red color. I just did that just to show you how it looks. Now let's move this over just a little bit because you'll be able to cut it all together. And then here goes your green. And then this one. So you would go ahead and cut all of this. And then either you can put this, like copy it, right click and copy. And then um, click the positive sign here to get a new mat. Lay that there and paste. And then you can go ahead and cut that one. And that's all. So once you lay everything together, so let's just go ahead and lay it together. And I'll show you a picture of my card at the end. I'm trying to move this forward is what I'm trying to do. Bring to the front. And this is going to actually be your layer in the inside. So when you lay that down in the inside, that's how that's going to look. Okay, let me move that over because this is going to be the top layer of your card. Let's uh, move this to the front. And so that's how that looked. And so you would actually score right across here on this line there. And then um, once you put your poinsettia back together, let's just put it back together and I'm going to move it forward so you can see how that looks. Hopefully um, everything is explained pretty well. Got a little mumble jumbled in my words, but um, hopefully you understood that. Let's group this. And let's uh, bring this to the front and lay that right here. And that's how that looks. So that's the whole gist of your card. And let me show you how my card looks. And there you go. And that is the end of the video. Please smash that subscribe button if you like it and uh, hit that like button as well. And yeah, that's all I have for you. Thanks so much for stopping by. You all have a blessed and crafty day.